Hey everybody, it's Keith the Robo Duke. D nice. And we're here with You wanna do this, right? I'm I'm yes. I'm ready. I'm I'm ready. So a good buddy of ours uh, suggested that we maybe perhaps try to do some random food crate videos. I know there's one called Love with Food and a couple other things that give nutritious snacks, perhaps candy. They're Japanese snack box videos and whatnot. Uh, but what did you suggest? I said we would eat bugs. You said you would eat bugs. No, no, I said we, and then you said you don't know about you, and I said, well, I would totally eat bugs. And that is what brings us here today, because uh, I thought about it, but when confronted with them, as you can see before you, we have a lovely selection here of different bugs. The ones here under my hand on your right are savory, and the three over here are of the sweet chocolate-covered variety. So I'm not going to delay, because... He's really excited. I am. My, our longtime viewer, Nicole, had uh, found these online for us on the website Think Geek. Yeah. I gave them an order, got them about a few weeks ago, and I've been looking forward to doing this ever since. Yeah, hence why we have been gone for a while. Things have been busy, but uh, we're here. We are here. To do and, this. Oh, so should excited. we just do this blind? Because we can't see the labels from this side. So should you just want to pick them up one by one and then turn it around and discover what you're yes. eating? So, okay. All right. So first pick, we this cannot see. This one is barbecued flavored bamboo worms. What's the description underneath? Gives it a nice full description. Oh, does there. it? Fried in sunflower oil and seasoned with barbecue powder. There we go. Barbecue worms. And uh, I'll make sure we have our plate here in case you want to put one on there to show everyone. Just looks like a bait, actually. Oh, wow. Actually, just kind of looks like a, a weird little Cheeto? They feel crunchy. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. Not bad, actually. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, it's a little soft. Yeah. It's like, it just kind of... It's like a really soft corn chip. The problem is the aftertaste. Yeah. Mm, it kind of tastes like when you eat a whole sunflower seed and you crunch it up and like the shell bits are in there. Yeah, the aftertaste is what's getting to me right now. Yeah. 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 Can't say I'm a fan. Not too barbecue-y either. No. See, one down here already tried it. Okay, see this one though, it, they <laughs> literally just kind of... Like, in my head, I can imagine these are weird little corn chips. Like, if you look at them there, they just kind of look like weird little corn chips. I would definitely say not much flavor. Yeah, not something I could see myself sitting around and snacking yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, this one's exciting. You got whoa. bacon and cheese flavored mm. grasshoppers. Now, the thing is, if this looks like a full-on grasshopper... You're out? I'm probably <laughs> out. Like, that's the thing is, that looked kind of like a Cheeto thing. I can you know, I can get past that. Yeah, these definitely look disgusting. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not putting that in my mouth. No fucking way. Yeah, here, put one on there so we can get a nice look at it. I'm not putting that in my mouth. The, oh, that's a straight-up grasshopper. Oh, that is just... Oh! That, like, really grosses me out. Uh, yeah, there you can see. That is just a full-on grasshopper. See, that's uh, my thing, dude. These look disgusting. Here you go. See, I can't do that. Oh, that, that tastes disgusting, too. Yeah? They're just so dried out. Yeah. Well, they are from Thailand, apparently, according to the back of the label, though they are FDA-approved, so uh, totally legal. <laughs> totally legal. <laughs> totally legal. <laughs> We're not breaking any laws breaking on the any, Double D's network. <laughs> not breaking any bug laws here. <laughs> Don't offend any bugs rights activists out there. Oh my god. Uh, Wasabi Ooh. flavored small crickets. Oh, and these are just gonna look like fucking crickets too. And so, did that taste like bacon and cheese or just no, tasted gross? No, not at all. It just tasted gross. They just, they all taste so dried out, not very tasty at all. Yeah, like, like I said, it tastes like a dried out corn chip, that first one. Like, I can get past that. This though, ooh, yeah, that one's just a full on, that's just a full on little cricket there. Full on. Ugh, go for it. I want one of these to be good. I want you. I want you to like one of these and go. I could totally eat these, and you just want to eat them all. So, what do you think of that one? Same thing. Just gross. Yeah. So far, a very disappointing 
uh, run here. They're all just... I just can't help but keep looking at this fucking grasshopper. Oh, God. <laughs> I just can't help but look at it's it. It's just like, would you... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Are you done holding them? Oh, Queen Weaver ant. I don't need to keep showing it to them until you get the next one out. What what flavor are these Queen Weaver uh, ants fried? Salted. Salt? This is just salted. Oh my god, none of these are any good. I mean, this is oh, like... This one actually does come with a little... Worse than them just looking gross. It comes with a little freshness. Oh, nice. It's just like in your beef jerky or something like that. Oh, see, these are like super tiny, right? Yeah, these are really, really small. They're ants. Just tiny little ants. Can you even see that? It's a speck upon your hand. And now it falls on the yes. table. Oh. I don't think I've stopped making, like, the I'm gonna retch face this whole video. I just... First, ooh, you just eat a bunch? Yeah. How are those? Salted. It just tastes like salty, yeah. crunchy. Okay, see, this one you've gone for a second handful. Not, not, as, not as dried out as the others, so... That one actually tastes kind of like crunchy, has yeah. good texture. Yeah. Not the worst? Not the worst, but also not the best. Maybe they all need that little freshness thing in there. Maybe. Maybe they were missing a little right. freshness Time for more water to cleanse the palate. Yes, before you reach... I think the one you were looking forward to the most. So, uh, is that it? You mentioned before uh. we did this video, so... Uh, oh. This is the first of our <laughs> main course before we get to the desserts. Uh, this is... Uh, Nori seaweed flavor. They are cooked, dehydrated, and dusted. Armor, tail, scorpions. I'm excited for scorpions! Don't jump out at me. Ooh! These ones are even in a, a plastic packet. Ah, oh, sweet! A freshness saver. Uh, yeah, freshness. It looks like you get like two of them. Ziplocked. Oh god, yeah. Make sure. Ziplocked hold it up. Hold it up. Freshness. Hold up the Ziploc bag so they. Can, oh god, this is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so gross, dude. <laughs> oh, just go. Just do it. Like I'm being grossed out for you because you're not. It's almost making me want to be grossed out more. Just because you, you're like being as cool as a cucumber about this, which is great. I love it. But like, man. All right. Nori. Uh, nori is the uh, seaweed. It's a dried out snack in a lot of Asian cultures. Uh, now, also there the is kind a, of seaweed they wrap there sushi There is with. one thing I will say. I am not eating the tail. I'm not about to eat. So even Literally, the scorpion little, can you see it on there? Yeah. It is straight up the scorpion stinger tail is on there. Yeah, you don't. For some reason, I just feel like I should not eat that. That's fine. I completely understand that. I can also understand, you know, it actually has the point on there. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Good. Yes. What is so? What does it got? Like a kind of any kind of description? Mm. You think like what? like kind is, of was this the wasabi? No, no nori. The nori seaweed. seaweed. Yeah, like what they as I was saying, wrap sushi with. There's also dried versions of it. In the yes, I will go for seconds on this one. Actually, tastes good. Very I nice. Actually, tastes good. Right on. So we found one he liked, which is a uh, scorpion. And I can actually hear the crunchiness of it, so that's good. Once again, I ate the worms. Not too bad. I've never been... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I've never been scared of uh, worms. I always thought worms were kind of cool, actually. When it would rain, I always like, kind of like collect them because, I mean, you're a kid. Make a worm farm. Yeah, I'd be like, I got all these worms. What am I going to do? So uh, now to dessert, which, uh, once again... Three selections, and I believe there are scorpions in here too. So they maybe are. we should save them for last again. Oh, yeah, scorpions are gonna be Let's last. Let's not go yeah. random on this. I want scorpions for the end. Okay, so here you go. Uh, chocolate covered super worms. Super worms. Yeah, these will turn you into a superhero. That would be awesome. Also, once again, packed for freshness. That, apparently, the packed for freshness helps. See, once again, I said before, it's I, I mentioned the D Nice before the video, uh, covered in chocolate. Another way, maybe I'll try it. You can't really see it. It just looks like actually, there you go. A little chocolate covered. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a chocolate covered super worm though. Sweet. All right. I'll eat another worm. Once again, worms not too bad. Uh, maybe I'm part bird. Ooh. Because you know why? It's chocolate. It's also, I think the back. If you've noticed, the other snacks, the grasshoppers, very dried out. Grasshoppers, crickets. And the worms were not double-packed. They were just in the can, very dried-out, flavorless. Yeah. You said the ants were okay. 
Yes, ants were okay. And they had one of those little packets you don't eat. On the uh, the keeps like the moisture in, I think. Yeah, to... or to like kill you if you Either eat way. it. And then the scorpions were double packed in a bag, and you were like, "Those were good. These aren't half bad, actually. It just kind of tastes like a crunchy chocolate." Yeah. So you know what that means? I will save these for later. But there's also it has an earthy taste, like uh, obviously worms earth. There is a. It leaves a residual in your mouth, though, just like the other worms. No, I think those left more of a residual. More? These, I just taste the chocolate. Yeah, and it's not bad chocolate. Not the best chocolate I've ever had, but uh, good chocolate. Those are my scorpions. Those are the scorpions. <laughs> this is chocolate-covered silkworms. Double worms! Can you do silkworms? Let's take a look at them. Once again, freshness savor. I like a lot better. I'm imagining they're... They, I don't know how much different they could taste from the other ones... Oh, this one ripped. Oh, uh, just now? The bag, yeah, when I ripped it. Okay. Up, yeah. Well, I did it just now, so that's fine. Yes, going for Ooh, it. Ooh, they're like, that's like a double one. Here, I'm just going to get one of them here. Oh, really? Yes. I just want one little tiny one. Ready? Cheers, sir. Cheers. It's still in my mouth. Cruncher than I expected. Crunching the other one. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Weird Kit Kat. Now. Yeah, but the aftertaste... I'm not getting an aftertaste on mine. Once again, I just get the chocolate aftertaste. Mm, something in the crunchiness. I don't know. Still not bad. Not the worst thing I've had. Not the best thing I've had. But... I definitely have, um... Like I said, Kit Kat. Felt like a Kit Kat. It does have more of a layer of crunchiness, while the other worm was sort of, uh... Dispersed. It was a lot thinner of a crunchiness. That's a thicker crunchiness. Woof. Alright. The finale. Scorpions, I'm so excited about this. So now you can tell people you're a fan of uh, scorpions. I am totally a fan of scorpions. Ooh, these are actually double. Oh, they're individually wrapped. Individually wrapped. Are you joining me on the scorpion? Oh, man, I don't know. That still... Yeah, no. no, how about that one? No, you go ahead. I can't. All right. Not doing a scorpion. Not doing that. Worms, one thing. Scorpion, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. You, and plus, you really if you really like it, you'll have a second one. That is true. Once and I don't, again, want, I don't want to deprive you of that because you again, really did enjoy the Once again, not about stuff. to eat the uh, stinger. I don't know why. I just feel like I shouldn't eat the stinger. You know what? And if it's a deep human instinct, that's fine. But there we go. Chocolate-covered scorpion. Go for it. I bet you'll really like it and you'll want to have the other one. So, Mmm. Really crunchy. Really good, actually. There we go. Now you got another one. So... Hope you enjoyed watching us, well, him mostly. I do got to give you guys a disclaimer. My sense of smell is not very good, so I only taste 20% of food. So for me, this wasn't an issue. <laughs> well, for me, perhaps I may have tasted some other things and full-on retched, which I would have if I touched those crickets or those grasshoppers. Which is also why I can't really give you a good explanation of what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. I can't really taste all of it. So if you watched all this, fooled you! <laughs> Make sure you click like below. Make sure you go to Think Geek. Order these yourselves. Be adventurous. I was a little adventurous. You are. I, I'm proud of you. I was a little adventurous. When I first came in, he was like, no! But you did say, maybe the chocolate-covered ones. And I did do, tried three things today out of the lovely eight, so not all too shabby. Once again, thank you to Code Page 9 for suggesting the uh, the food crate idea and big ups to our friend and loyal viewer, Nicole, for also providing the link to the Think Geek Bug Crate. And like I said, like, subscribe, comment, give it a try yourself. Until next time, like Dean I said, be adventurous.